Hi, so today we're going to be making some walnut necklace pendants and as you can see they're very pretty and also very simple to make. What all you need is a walnut shell, which if you go on a walk in nature you'll be able to find. They're all over the place. Squirrels love hiding these guys. This one's actually a beautiful center. I'm gonna try and do something a little special with this one. But other than that you need a little bit of resin and whatever colors you want to use. My camera is a little bit fuzzy, hazy if you will, but the colors we are going to use today are violet and haze soap dye. All you just need to do is mix it into the resin, get this beautiful purple color going on, and voila, walnut shell. We actually already have one going on so you get an idea of what we're doing here. Sorry again, camera out of focus, but all we need to do is fill this guy up. We have them on a base of clay so that we can have them level, otherwise they, you know, wobble around too much. You don't want this guy, you know, dripping out resin, waste product. So keep him, you know, nice and level and sturdy, and then you just slowly fill him with resin. We're going to do this carefully. I did say she was going to take the camera, but unfortunately my camera is so out of focus that I don't want it to get too blurry as I go there. I don't know if you can see, but the resin is actually really cool looking right now. The iridescents are pouring out of it in such an awesome way. It like, looks like the Rainbow Road, really. Except all purple, because that's what it should be. Purple and blue. I'm getting the thumbs up. She agrees with me on that one. I agree, too. Okay, so, if you see this, I don't want to go too crazy with the resin. You don't want to overfill it. If you overfill it, you have to sand off a lot of product. And again, we're not trying to waste product here. We just want to get the edges nice and sealed so that everything is level. And if a little... A little overhang is okay, you know, like I said, we're going to be sanding it. You just don't want so much that you can't see the outer edge because what I noticed is you end up sanding off so much that it creates holes in this outer ring right here and that makes it difficult um, when you hang it again to dip it in the last coat of resin to get that nice shiny coat. So. And the finished product, once it's sanded, actually looks like this. And this is what I'm talking about with the little um, empty spaces. They kind of work out. I mean, I think it looks like a geode. Um, very beautiful, very versatile. You can wear it with, you know, a nice dress, simple casual clothes. And if you're in a little bit of a funky mood, going to festivals and all that stuff, you can turn it around and it has a funky face on the back. So these guys are UV reactive. Um, they glow in the dark, especially this part right here. That's glow in dark clay, so that glows bright green. And then these colors will glow whatever color the uh, powder is that we put into it. Um, and the back, he obviously glows too. So you'll get a really funky, you know, effect. Cool for Halloween. Cool if you're just going out. Um, they do get charged by the sun so you don't have to use a black light but if you do have black lights in your home um prepare to be amazed by the look of this guy i mean he pops out from a long time when we turn off the lights it just glows so um i hope you liked hope you enjoyed if you want to make it again it's super easy just walnut shells a little bit of resin and honestly you don't just have to use um the powders, we use different types of things as well. If you notice, I put a little bit of gold flake in there, make it look a little bit of like, like autumn, truly. I thought that was a mm -hmm. beautiful idea. My daughter recommended that one to me, so I like it. Again, I, I'm going to try and do something similar with this guy. If you can see close up, um, he has a bunch of different spots in him, almost like a leopard. It's truly really pretty. I want to keep it clear on the top, but maybe try and fill something deep in there to glow. Um, but again, that would be next video if you guys are interested. But hope you liked. Hope you enjoyed. If you do like, give me some thumbs up. And uh, perhaps I'll be able to fix my camera and make it a little less blurry. So hope you guys have a good night and uh, happy crafting.